Soft plan objects are intelligent objects. They contain physical measurements such as height and width. They also include real-world components. For example, when a wall is drawn, it includes not only the framing members and cladding, but the vapor barrier, drywall, and insulation. Furthermore, this insulation has default thermal resistant values associated with it, which can be easily modified to meet the codes of the region in which the house is being built. All of this stored information can be a huge time saver when it comes time to create materials lists and cost estimate reports, and now SoftPlan lets you export this information to ResCheck. ResCheck is the Department of Energy's computer program that is used to demonstrate compliance with the thermal shell requirements of various state building codes. These compliance reports are fast becoming standard in permit requirements and can cost between $200 and $700 alone. Through SoftPlan's integration with ResCheck, you'll not only save money by completing the report yourself, you'll receive feedback during the design process that will result in a more energy efficient product. This video will illustrate how to find and change the default thermal resistant values and other values that go into a ResCheck report to suit the area where you design and will also illustrate how to quickly change values to suit a specific project. Next, the project will be exported into ResCheck and finally adjustments will be made to the plan to illustrate how to create a more energy efficient design. To start, right click on an exterior wall of the house and select Edit. In the Wall tab, information such as wall height, a component of the wall area, will be taken into account. The selected wall is balloon framed and therefore has multiple heights associated with it. The wall area will be automatically calculated and the result will be exported into ResCheck. Also in the Wall tab is a description of the wall in the Type field. Notice that the exterior wall material is stucco. Changing the wall thickness or wall material will change the result of this project's ResCheck report. Select the Selections tab. The Selections tab is where the thermal resistant values for the wall's insulation can be found and modified. Changes made will be applied to the current project only. SoftPlan comes shipped with a default value for these thermal resistant values. Users may need to change the default values in order to conform to regional code requirements. To do this, select the definition button at the bottom of the wall dialog. The wall definition menu will open where the continuous R value and the cavity R value can be modified. The continuous R value is the insulation that runs continuously over structural members. An example of this would be rigid foam insulation. The cavity R value is insulation installed between framing members. An example of this is fiberglass insulation between the studs of a wall. Select OK to close the dialog. Select the front window for editing. Information about the type of opening, the width and height, and even the vertical offset of the window is used to make calculations within the ResCheck report. Open the Selections tab. The Windows U value can be set manually in the Energy section of this tab. To change the default U value to reflect regional recommendations, close the opening dialog and return to the floor plan. Select File, System Options, System Library. 
In the Configure Library dialog, select the Openings Library type, then expand the Window branch and highlight Double Hung. Highlight the 18x24 Double Hung 1 window and then select the Edit Symbol button located below. In the Configure Opening dialog, select Edit Entire Opening. The dialog that opens is where the default U value for the selected window can be set. Select OK to close each open menu. While viewing the 3D Texture tab, select the roof for editing. Open the Selections tab. In the R values section of the dialog, the continuous and cavity R values can be set manually. The overhang of the roof will be used to make calculations of the overhang projection factor, which is a fraction of the roof's overhang and the offset of a window located beneath. This particular roof has various overhangs associated with each roof edge. In order to modify the overhang, the roof edges would need to be modified individually. It can be seen that the overhang for the selected roof edge is 13 inches. To set default values for the roof, close the Roof Edge dialog and select the Main Floor Plan tab. Select File, System Options, System Options, Material Dimensions, Roof Options. Values such as the default overhang and the continuous and cavity R values can be set in this Roof Options dialog. While viewing the main floor plan, switch into ceiling mode. Place the cursor over the ceiling section to be modified and right click. Select Ceiling, Edit. From within the ceiling tab it can be seen that the area of the ceiling section is 174.7 square feet. This value cannot be changed from within the menu but can be modified by changing the dimensions of the ceiling in the floor plan. The area of the ceiling is a value that will be exported to ResCheck. The continuous and cavity R values can be set manually from within the Selections tab. The defaults can be modified in the Ceiling Options dialog located within System Options. Close the ceiling dialog and switch into floor system mode. The floor system for this one story house is a slab. Right click on the slab and select Edit. In the Slab Edit dialog, select the Selections tab. Since this is a solid material, only the continuous R value is applicable. To change the default value, select File, System Options, System Options. Here, the default cavity and continuous R values for a frame subfloor can be set. In the slab section of the menu, the R value can be modified from the default of 7.5. Select OK.
Finally, switch into site mode. Select the north arrow from the toolbar. The physical orientation of items such as walls, openings, and roof overhang will have an effect on the ResCheck report. When designing a home, the orientation of the house has a huge impact on the overall energy efficiency of the design. Currently, the rear of the house is facing north. Select Model, Project Information. The city and state where the home is located will determine the maximum UA. Keep in mind that the location is very important. A home that passed code and was built in Texas could possibly fail in colder climates. Colder climates will have a lower maximum UA, whereas warmer climates will have a higher maximum UA. This home is to be built in Brentwood, Tennessee, located in Williamson County. Now that all of the thermal values are set for the building, a ResCheck report can be created. With all of the thermal values set for the plan, the next step will be to generate the ResCheck report. To learn how simple it is to generate a ResCheck report using SoftPlan, please see the next video in this series. Now that all of the thermal values are set for the building, a ResCheck report can be created. To do this, select File, Export, ResCheck Script. The ResCheck Information dialog will open, which allows for the selection of the code where the building will be located. This house is to be built in Tennessee where the International Energy Conservation Code is the 2006 IECC. The city and state fields are automatically filled in with the information set in the Project Information dialog. The building characteristics for the structure should be set as a one-family detached. Select OK. The Save As dialog opens. Enter in the file name ResCheck and then select Save. Open the ResCheck program, which is downloadable from the ResCheck website. When the program starts, the Energy Code Setting dialog will open, displaying that code is currently set to the 2006 IECC. To look up a code, select Look Up Your Code and on the dialog follow the on-screen instructions. Select OK to close the menu. To open the ResCheck report exported from SoftPlan, select File, Open. Locate the ResCheck file and select Open. In the currently open Projects tab, it can be seen that the state and city are correctly labeled as Brentwood, Tennessee in Williamson County. Select the Envelope tab. Scroll through the envelope of materials. Each component of the building is listed along with the thermal values that have either been manually input or are the default initially set up. It is important to note that the values exported from SoftPlan are used to make various calculations in ResCheck. That is to say, raw values are not only plugged into the report, but are fully integrated into ResCheck and used to make calculations for properties such as the solar heat gain coefficient and the UA. One component that is not exported from SoftPlan is the slab's depth of insulation. After scrolling through the materials, locate the materials name Slab 1 and Slab 2. Scroll to the right to view the depth of insulation column. Enter in the depth. For this example, the depth of insulation is 2.5 feet. With all the necessary values in place, now it's time to find out if the building meets code. Select the Check Compliance button at the bottom of the dialog. 
To comply with the 2006 IECC, the report must either pass the UA Trade-Off Index or the Equipment Performance Index. This report is using the traditional UA Trade-Off Compliance Method to determine that the report is 0.4% better than code. The UA trade-off approach uses ResCheck to allow trade-offs between R values and U values to show code compliance by raising thermal values in one component and lowering them in another, while focusing only on the thermal envelope. The max UA is 645, and the UA for this report is 643. Since ResCheck's compliance bar indicates that the building passes code, now the compliance report could be printed off. However, since SoftPlan's integration with ResCheck is so quick and easy, the designer is able to receive instant feedback about the thermal shell. This can be used to improve the building's thermal resistance. In this next section, the floor plan will be modified within SoftPlan then export it again into ResCheck in an attempt to make the design adhere to even higher standards. Return to SoftPlan. Switch into Drawing Mode. Select Edit, Change Wall. Highlight the exterior 2x4 stucco wall and select OK. In the Select New Wall dialog, highlight the thicker 2x6 wall with insulation, sheathing, and stucco. Select OK. Use the radial buttons to align the outside of the current wall's bearing material to the outside of the new wall's bearing material. Right-clicking on the exterior wall illustrates that it has, indeed, been changed to the thicker 2x6 wall. Zoom in to view the windows to the right of the kitchen. Right-click on the window in the eat-in kitchen area and erase the opening. Switch into ceiling mode. Right click on the back left ceiling section and select Ceiling, Edit. In the Selections tab, change the cavity R value from 25 to 30. To apply the same change to all of the ceiling sections, select Edit, Repeat Edit Box. Trace an expanding box around the entire house plan. The ceiling's cavity R value is now 30 for the entire house. Before exporting to ResCheck, save the drawing. Select File, Export, ResCheck Script. Choose the 2006 IECC again and then select OK. Save the file as ResCheck B. Return to the ResCheck program. Open the ResCheck B file. Select the Check Compliance button at the bottom of the screen. Once again, the project passes code but now it is 5.2% better than code. Creating accurate ResCheck reports in-house is simple. Using SoftPlan, you are creating the report as the house is being designed, saving you time and money. SoftPlan's integration with ResCheck takes automation to the next level, allowing your business to create more efficient designs that will endure your company to potential clients.